welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys my diy hair refresher that is so so simple to make and you don't need a lot of things to make it you guys requested on my last video that i uploaded um to do a video on how i re-moisturize my curls and how i make my curls pop the next day because i'm always in the comment section and you guys are always giving me really good video ideas um, so yeah, thanks to all of you guys who requested this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel down below and like this video. Also comment down below, um, let me know if you already do this type of refresher or if you have a DIY refresher that you make for your curls and help somebody out by telling us what your routine is for next day curls to still look nice. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. Uh, okay guys, so this is actually what my hair looks like normally when I wake up in the morning. Um, I've had this wash and go for a couple days, so we're gonna see how I can get this, we're gonna see how I can get this refreshed. Um, using the method that I use 99% of the time. Um, the only thing is today I am going to extra step for those of you who have like um, super dry hair or your hair doesn't refresh, like revitalize that quickly okay so first things first you're going to need a water bottle and then you're going to need a leave-in conditioner or some type of um, styling uh, cream this is what I'm using today this is from Shea Moisture Zone and it's a really OG product it's their coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk um, and I don't really use this a lot so I'm okay with putting this into my DIY leave-in. So, or refresher. So, you have your bottle of water. Now all you need to do is add in your leave-in conditioner or your styling product. And this is so much cheaper. <laughs> oh! Yes, bloopers come through. I come through. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. Y'all take me serious right now? Okay, guys, so I know what I'm talking about, so listen to me. Like, no. Okay, so now that we are done with shaking it all together, we now have our mixture. Take my hair down, wow. So at this point, it's just kind of self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go too much on the outside of my hair because the outside of my curls don't need refreshing. And also, um, with my, in my opinion, you're supposed to refresh your hair um, by refreshing like the inside and kind of like lightly doing one curl at a time on the outer, outer layers. Just spray the outer layers of my hair and also if you guys are wondering um, if you have like an actual curl refresher that's absolutely amazing this is just for someone who wants to refresh their hair and they don't have like an actual moisturizer or product made to do that with them you can just make your own um, so this curl needs some help so I would pretty much spray the curl individually like this Hey guys, so at this point I just take my finger and I finger coil all of the frizzy parts of my hair. And I also wanted to mention that I do spray the ends of my hair and kind of scrunch my hair up so that it can be a little more curly when I'm done with the process. I also like to spray at the top of my hair to kind of lay down my hair because it's usually kind of crinkled up from being in the pineapple or pineapple bun. Um, so yeah, just take the refresher spray and spray it on the top layer and then hold it down with my hand to kind of mold it. Okay guys, so at this point I literally just um, lay down my edges and this is pretty much self-explanatory and i would tell you guys which gel i'm using 
but comment down below if you know why I can't really tell you which gel I'm using. But you guys will find out very soon. This stuff lays my edges really well. So yeah, I'm just laying on my edges and getting that all together. Even though my hair is going to be down, you know, just in case the wind blows the wrong way, I like to go ahead and do my edges and have them in place. So the next thing is to go ahead and take an oil to seal your hair so that your hair is not drying out throughout the day. This just seals in your hair and also gives you a nice shine. So that was my video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did like I said give a comment down below and also a thumbs up to the video thank you guys so much for your support yeah let me know your thoughts on my finished hair did you think that it turned out right I do think my hair is a little bit more frizzier today but let me know if you guys think it turned out right and I will see you guys in my next video bye